today on this edition of Story We highlight the airframe and power plant program at the Oak Creek campus. We travel to Discover Road to learn about the Coles Design It Lab. We also take an in-depth look at the Hort Club. This September, MATC celebrates 100 years of innovative education. Uh-oh, there's a storm brewing, which means it's time for the Storm Watch. I'm here. I hope you enjoyed your break, but it's back to the normal grind of school. But at least it's almost over. We have an awesome show for you today. I'm James Oltak. I'll be your host. And today, my guest host this week is Sarah Aguado. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, as you said, my name is Sarah Guado. I am in the Human Service Program here at MATC. I'll be finishing that up this semester and graduating. I am also currently your Editor-in-Chief of the MATC Times newspaper. Wow, you have a lot on your plate. And I thought the TV program was hard. Another program that seems to be hard is the Aviation Technician Program at the Oak Creek campus. There are two types of degree programs aircraft and power plant maintenance. If you complete both programs, it will look better when you look for work after graduation. This week we visit the aviation program. Students enjoy. But first we will take a look at an awesome exhibit going on at Discovery World, the Design It Lab sponsored by Cole's Department Store. We will also check out the bulletin board to show you what is going on this week at MATC. This is a FAA approved airframe and power plant program which trains students to work on aircraft according to the FAA regulations. Well, the program is broken into two different diploma programs. The first one is the airframe program and that runs roughly oh, about a year and a half and that, uh, that's the elapsed time uh, of it, but totally it's uh, 24 weeks long and uh, an additional 16 weeks in front of that to get qualified to uh, take the airframe licensing uh, tests. And then following that is another 24 weeks of the power plant program. So uh, total elapsed time, it's about 21 months that uh, the students are on campus here. I always say uh, the purpose of this program is to fulfill our students' dreams because this is a passion industry that we're in. Every one of these guys that are in this room here really enjoy and love airplanes to begin with. So for me, I think that it's uh, a program that fulfills these, these uh, women and their men's dreams of uh, being an aviator. But uh, in reality, what we do is we uh, fulfill the FAA's requirements for a person to come into the aviation world and then get a license, a mechanics license, um, and that there are two of them. There's uh, the airframe and the power plant license. Well, my interest started at a very young age when uh, I grew up in Montana on a cattle ranch, and my uh, father had uh, two ranches at the time and used an aircraft to to get back and forth between the two. And so that started my interest and progressed to the flying phase. And uh, after a career in flying, I'm interested now in the, in the maintenance phase. So I'm here to get the FA power plant and airframe rating that will allow me to do some maintenance work on the, on the aircraft engines. My interest uh, started too as a young child uh, with building models watching airplanes fly, watching Sky King on TV, different things like that. And I've done things with my hands all my life, carpentry, a tool and die maker. So I took early retirement and I thought, second career, now's the time. So I'm here as a student to learn how to repair engines and airplanes. Well, once they uh, graduate from our program here, they have a choice to make. In the aviation field, they can go into the general aviation field, the corporate uh, field, or in the airline field where within the airline field there's several branches or ways of 
uh, of uh, working as an A&P there. Um, so it's, it's uh, uh, either working on uh, smaller aircraft at uh, places like Timmerman and, uh, or uh, working in the corporate uh, world uh, like Johnson Controls and, uh, or uh, at the main terminal here uh, for uh, Frontier Airlines where you work on uh, the line and uh, then there's hangar uh, mechanics. They're, they're usually two different uh, groups of people but those are where the students generally go. Well, 20 years ago, it was a little different. The job outlook, there was no jobs. So a lot of kids and students were dropping out at a fast rate. And the ones that did graduate the program, probably 15, 20% actually went and got their license. So today, I mean, we need mechanics. There's a shortage in the field, and that's going to be great. The success rate today is going to be a lot different than it was 20 years ago, which is very good for the industry. And so, the, it was great to see MATC stick through all this because MATC, they were thinking about closing this program a number of times along the way. And now they're a vital part of this job outlook. or scissors. These are just some of the tools that are used in Discovery World's Coles Design It Lab. Hi, right, my name is Tom Joy and we're in the Coles Design It Lab in the workshop and back here we have classes for our members only and what these they, we can actually have people sign up for these classes in advance or we can the day of we can actually bring some more people in if the class isn't filled up. So they'll come into this class in the workshop and we'll do 60 to 90 minute workshop classes learning about different tools and materials different methods of making things and also a little bit about design and how you can use inspiration to help you design different things. The program actually started November 20th and that was uh, the first weekend that we were open so it's been about five months that we've been open so far and um, it started as basically just the quick shop so just the cafe metaphor where guests would come in first come first serve and have those projects but now we're starting to get more rolled into to these classes in here and also having the lab open at the same time. Today what we did is we made jewelry out of vintage vinyl records. So we have a whole collection of vinyl records that our guests can come in and use and we teach them a couple techniques and a couple methods which they can actually start carving out and making their own jewelry using those techniques. So we had people using scroll saws and using jeweler's saws to actually cut out different shapes that they would design on those records and then actually make necklaces and earrings and other types of jewelry that work really well with the vinyl records. Workshop or quick shop, both are used as a playground for kids of all ages to use their creative abilities. For, so for the workshop classes and for the quick shop classes which we have in the Coles Design It Lab, it's all 10 years older and above. And if they're younger than 10, what we have them do is just have them accompanied by an adult who's able to help them with these processes. Some of the things that we do in here are a little complicated, especially with uh, using saws and nailing things and other, using sewing machines and other different tools. So we actually want them to have an adult to accompany them and actually help them through. But we always give them demos and the safety and the best practices for using all these machines that we have in here. So in the workshop classes we have, like I said, 60 to 90 minute classes and these are more, more um, involved with design and customization and making things. We have a lot of uh, fashion things that we do. We make bags, shoulder bags, messenger bags, handbags, little clutches and purses and things like that. We also do a lot of woodworking stuff as well where we're making birdhouses, um, making other different things, teaching best practice using hammer and nails, using saws um, and that kind of stuff. With all the cool new things to use in this room, it's no wonder these kits become something great. From clamps to glitter, 
they can use their imagination to build anything that comes to mind. Yeah, so in the Cole Design Lab, it's split up into two things. We have the workshop back here, which is kind of our member-only classes and more involved 60 to 90 minute classes. In the quick shop, it's kind of set up like a cafe. So what happens when you come in, you sit down, you read off of a menu of project items that you can choose from, and then you basically pick the, your favorite project and you, we give you the tools and the materials to make that project. So what we do is sometimes people are making houses, uh, architectural models, learning about how to fold and how to tab things together without using glue or adhesives. Also doing other projects like jewelry, bending wire, um, using hand tools, using wire jigs, other tools that they can use to manipulate different materials. I'm Jordan McCormick with Stormwatch. That was an interesting insight into the aviation program that they have to go through a lot to graduate. If you want more information about the program, you can visit the Oak Creek campus or visit matc.edu. The Design It Lab exhibit at Discovery World is free to the public, and to find out information on other fun exhibits coming to Discovery World, visit discoveryworld.org. How is this spring semester going for you? Not as good as other semesters, but I'm working on it. Um, I'm just glad to be graduating this semester. How is everything for you? Well, this semester is going good for me. I, I've been super busy trying to get my op show. I wish I had more time to get it done, though. It can be a very stressful, but it's all worth it in the long run. What is Ops Day? It is called Student Operations Day, a day when nothing but student programs run starting at 8 a.m. all the way to midnight. The shows are produced and edited all by students. It's an awesome experience, not to mention we have something to show family and friends. That's great. You know what else is great? MATC is turning 100 years old next year. I didn't even know MATC was 100 years old. MATC will be celebrating turning 100 starting September 2011 to next September 2012. Stormwatch learned more about MATC Centennial Celebration and then we learned about the Horticulture Club at the Oak Creek campus. Wow, I can't. Uh, I guess in the simplest form, horticulture uh, is the study of plants, uh, the study and practice of plants and their related components. Uh, so that could be anything from the soil um, that you use for planting, uh, to plant biology, to agriculture, uh, to floriculture, landscape horticulture, which is what our program specializes in. Um, and then the, um, the production of fruits and vegetables. Uh, the name of the club is the Horticulture Club, but for short we always call it Hort Club. We can bring in guest speakers from the industry, um, anyone that works for um, the, the stone companies uh, around here at the Land and Stone Quarry. Um, we can get designers to come in and talk about landscape design. Um, we have, we've had um, the propagator at Johnson's Nursery come in and talk about plant propagation in the past. So. We also have uh, many plant sales throughout the year. Uh, in the fall and also in the winter and in the spring uh, we, have, we have plant sales. The greenhouse class um, produces different types of plants and then the, the Hort Club members uh, volunteer to work the, the plant sales to sell to uh, students and teachers and faculty of the school and also uh, to the community. We also uh, work on various uh, locations, you know, near the Mequon campus, uh, doing maintenance work. Um, I believe we work at the Girl Scout House up in Cedarburg, doing maintenance, uh, mulching and edging of beds uh, at that location. I think there's a few other locations that we work on. The field trips will go um, to Growing Power in Milwaukee. Um, we will go to some of the landscape suppliers uh, in the area. We'll go to Miller Park, uh, we'll go to Burner Botanical Gardens, um, and anything, any company or uh, a location that has to do with horticulture and that will be beneficial to the students, we'll take them there. I think that it's a really good opportunity just to absorb the information that we're learning. You can sit in a classroom and you can learn about plants, but it's cool to actually work with them and to, um, to go on trips and to meet the people in the industry before before going out and doing it on your own. 
the club is located on the Mequon campus, uh, and we we don't really have a specific room that we use. I guess it just depends on, on what room is going to be uh, most available, and it's going to work best for what we need it for. But basically, um, you can attend a meeting, a Hort Club meeting, and if you have interest, uh, I believe we have a, a, a sign-up form, and then there's also a, a membership fee. And then it's a, a lifetime membership, so even after you graduate the program, you're still a member of the club, and you can come back and participate in our, um, our field trips if you'd like. And, um, there's, there's so many cool things that we do, and if, if you're interested and truly interested in this field, I would definitely recommend joining. When we heard about the centennial celebration, we wanted to find out about MATC's beginnings. Milwaukee Area Technical College actually was founded in 1911 uh, when Charles McCarthy instituted a uh, measure that across the state there would be continuation schools. And basically it was to provide school-aged children with the opportunity to go to school, um, receive training, and so that child labor laws were affected that way. So that's, um, that's dating 100 years back the history of the college at its earliest roots. Over the hundred years, MATC has really evolved as needs of local industry have changed. Um, during World War II, uh, we were a training center for defense workers. Um, following that, really as the evolution of technology came about, um, we were one of the first places where local residents could come for computer training, um, but a computer training would be much different than what we see now, you know, um, iPads, iPods, smartphones, to you think of the big industrial computers, but all along the way MATC has been there to provide training and education for local residents. When asked about the celebration, the president of MATC was interested in sharing his insight of this 100-year-old institution. Well, I feel very proud and fortunate to be the president of MATC as it celebrates its 100th year anniversary. I really credit the Wisconsin legislature for having the foresight 100 years ago to create the Wisconsin Technical College system. It's a, it's a model in the United States that is unparalleled, I think. Uh, they also had the foresight 100 years ago to anticipate the training needs and the needs for an educated workforce in Wisconsin, and particularly in Milwaukee. And we've been quietly here at MATC doing, uh, you know, meeting the training needs of this community for 100 years. Uh, we train uh, the nurses, the EMT, the fire, uh, police force. Uh, we provide all those kinds of first responders to this community. We do it in a very quiet kind of way. We've evolved since then, since uh, 1911, 1912, to fields like in fields that weren't even conceived of 100 years ago, like advanced manufacturing and uh, information technology. And we, now we're um, looking at programs in creative animation and, and trying to fuel the creative economy here in Milwaukee. With all the excitement circling MATC, we wanted to find out more about the celebration plans. Um, our centennial celebration actually kicks off in September 2011 and will run through September 2012. That's really to coincide with the founding of the college. And we'll have a kickoff dinner, a concluding dinner, and in between all different kinds of exciting activities that are meant to engage students, faculty, and staff, as well as retirees, folks who taught here or worked here over the last 100 years, and then also as a way to bring in our community members, which have been very very important to the support of the college. Uh, we'll have a website that's dedicated to centennial activities and we'll also have displays on each of the campuses and then in some of our civic partners as well. Um, and it's really neat. We've started our planning. Um, we've got a number of logos that actually were created by a student. The student graphic artist designing the centennial logos was unavailable for discussion, so we met with one of the supervisors overseeing the new design best tact would be to take the current MATC logo, which is MATC or the Long Milwaukee Area Technical College logo, retain the integrity of that brand, add a tagline which became 100 years of innovative education, take the orange spark and make it this cool glittering gold object which would live really well digitally as well as on video, um, web, however you wanted to tweet or send that out on Facebook. So that's what we came up with. Um, it will be out there in all of the different mediums for 
the year starting in August. The bookstore will be implementing it on their products for students. With a new aesthetic and the impending celebration, the excitement spreads from student to staff to the president of MATC. What I think is exciting about it is that year-long conversation about the kind of contributions that MATC has made to this community and gives us a chance uh, to reflect upon uh, what this community uh, needs and how we can evolve this institution in the future. Wow, I can't wait until September. Me too. If you want more information on the Horticulture Club, check out the Oak Creek campus. For this week's Student Spotlight, we highlight Ryan Patrick Grubb, a second year music student. For this week's creative piece, we pay tribute to the Scream franchise. With a creative twist, it's called Shadow Face. He strikes another victim. We thank you for joining us next, see you next week. Thank you for joining us. See you next week. Shadowface sounds pretty scary. Let's take a look. I'm a current music occupation student here at MATC. And uh, this is my second year and uh, I'm studying to be a drummer. Well, my style pretty much consists of uh, rock, uh, jazz, um, R&B, hip hop, um, soul, blues, little tidbits out of everything, really. I guess I'm behind my drum kit probably about uh, a good, geez, a good 30 hours a week, maybe. 30 to 40 hours a week, spending time just practicing and learning how to read, um, sheet music. Uh, two or three hours out of the week, I'm learning uh, music theory and uh, applying it to um, general music knowledge, working with different people from different backgrounds and styles and being able to talk with them and network with them and um, meet yeah, just meet a whole, a whole bunch of people that I really wouldn't have been able to do outside of MATC. The percussion ensemble concert is um, for, it's basically all the uh, percussion instruments like uh, djambes, uh, xylophones, uh, uh, not really so much the drum set, but more, uh, more the uh, ethnic type drums. And they, they, they showcase them and uh, they practice all semester. And then uh, I think they have two of them. They have a midterm and a final um, exam, basically, which is basically a performance. I would recommend this to any aspiring musicians. Yes, this, the classes are a lot smaller than your typical university class. Um, they you have more. Uh, more of the teachers divided attention um, available to you um, and it's uh, it's 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 like we're one close-knit family down there
Hello? Who is it? Hello? Scary movies. Girls don't like scary movies. We like romance. Or liar, little girl. Seriously, what's your favorite scary movie? Because I know you have one. It's like the Texas Chinese Master. Because the whole family gets killed. I figured that anyways. Wait, wait, don't you hang up on me. You little crazy girl. Hello? You better not be that guy. Listen to me, I don't like being hung up on. I'm going to bring you and your petty girlfriends down because I'm in the house. Time to kill. Whoa, stay back from me, or I will cut you. Wait, wait, no. Ouch, don't hit me down there. Oh no, I'm in such pain. pain.